Hey guys, and we're back. Beth plays The Sims once again, and what is going on here is that I did a little house renovation, and I'll show you that in a minute, but right now I was noticing that he's very upset. I guess the house has been dirty, and he's not happy with that, so we're going to have him clean it, because if you can view it, you can clean it. Anyhow, so my thing today is to go ahead and adopt another dog. Dogs? I don't know. Should we have three? Should we have one? Still thinking about that. So what I was thinking is to adopt another doggy. And there's two that came today I brought into. This one is Loki, is an adult, does not like him at all. And uh, Loki does like her. It's already becoming friends. There's another one running around here. It's a little husky. I don't know where it's at. There it is. Um, little tiny little thing. It's a puppy still. Um, the name is Bomber. Boomer. I might have to change that. So there's still there's still that. Um, I did change the house a little. I did a, re a little bit of renovating around the house. Um, let me just show you. This is what the house looks like now and yes I added a greenhouse we'll take a tour over there on that side uh, it is getting to the point where it needs to have the vision of what it's going to be and since they won't be living here after the second generation is old enough to move out apparently that's what happens they're a teenager I mean a young adult and they move out into their new and they continue to grow and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to move along so the house here is uh, two stories now it's not the best. I am not a good builder in any way. So um, what I did is I went ahead and moved the bedrooms upstairs. I'm not going to give you a full tour. I'm going to do this kind of quickly uh, so we can move on with the story because we do need to get married. We do need to... I don't know why it's there. And we need to move forward with the second generation, which has not started. And our plants are still growing. And they're both adults now. Days until they grow... 23 days he's a little younger than her so we need to move it here's the living room as soon as you enter the house um, you're gonna see the living room here you go ahead and put it in um, tab mode and then um, let me see if I got this right I've been practicing hopefully you guys watched my video on my horror story Hesperia's haunted house um, hopefully, uh, you guys will go ahead and vote. It doesn't count because I'm not entered in the contest. I didn't make it yet because I was late in actually telling Miss Unfortunate, um, that I wanted to be in there. I was a little late. So, but I still did it and I still wanted to go ahead and have you guys' input into what it's like, if you guys like it or not. And there's a kitchen and there is a stairs that lead upstairs. There's nothing there. There's no rooms up there. But here we have, of course, the kitchen and the lady from the um, veterinarian, or not the veterinarian, the animal shelter. She came over to bring two of the dogs. And upstairs, we're just going to jump right upstairs to see the house from the upstairs. Um, let's move over here. Okay, so when you go upstairs, you're going to see these bedrooms and bathrooms and, of course, all of that fun stuff. And here we're going to have the bedroom. I didn't do much. I... I there's something about me and um, clutter and bedrooms. Uh, believe me, my house is completely cluttered. This is a spare bedroom that has like the holiday stuff. And then if we move over here, that's another bedroom uh, looking the um, skating rink. And I believe on this side is the bathroom. So not much to see, but I did uh, go ahead and do that to go ahead and give us some more space and there's a hallway right there you just basically that's the other bedroom uh, go upstairs and it's a very small little hallway if anybody is interested I can upload this house and you guys can go ahead and fix it for me and then I can download it um, I do have a limited budget and there's that I only have a thousand uh, but if you take this and demolish it here why don't we get you to pay the bill 778 now the big thing that I did do was I went ahead and make a 
greenhouse. We do need lights in here and that's going to come in. Uh, but I went ahead. This is what my vision is like. Um, let's see. Orabella wants a greenhouse and she wants, you know, children to play and a place for families to come and enjoy, you know, fresh ingredients to take home. So we have built the greenhouse and if I can go downstairs, uh, did I not paint it on the inside? Oh, okay. So you come in. Sorry about that. Okay. So once you come in, you have a little bench you can sit at if you like. Um, and then all my plants are here. All the plants are there. And then you have the, the view of the back there, which is really nice. And there's more plants there. There's the wash station. It's not the floral one, it's uh, CC. And there's some more plants. There's room for more. There's our little bees. I don't know how they're going to feel about this new area. Um, but you're basically surrounded by a lot of plants. And in the middle is going to be your trees um, to give you a little bit of the shade from the sun coming in from the top and more plants there. So right now, this is where we're at. I might add some more little benches, maybe one on the other side just to give it that uh, feel that you can be on either side of the garden. Um, what do you call this? A uh, greenhouse. And yes, I know we don't have any walls, um, but that is that. So let's go and decide what doggy do we want. And he's upset, but we got him paying the bills. Go. Brooke is mostly her, his. Oh, this one's getting comfortable. Look at this one. Oh, he's tired. Okay. And they're both tired. I don't know, guys. I am, like, uh, I am in, in, like, this thing where I want both of them. But I don't know if that's going to be a lot of work. Because it is three dogs and you have to train them. This is a corgi. He reminds me of my nephew's little corgi, Oliver. And I'm going to adopt both. I, I'm going to take the leap and adopt both of them. I can train him. So, there we go. Um. Yes, I'm going to have. And the last name is, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I completely forgot to take that off. Uh, am I spelling that right? I don't even know her last name. Milani. Loki. I'm not sure about Loki. I might change it later. Where'd he go? Don't tell me they left. Did you adopt him? Where's the puppy? Where? Where's the puppy? Oh my goodness, I have no control. Don't you dare take him. Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? Looks like the game is choosing for us. Okay, puppy, puppy, puppy. It was in the kitchen just a minute ago and then it disappeared. Did I get a message? No. Let's see. Did it go outside? I told you to go and pay the bills. Did you go outside? Where are you, little one? It's taking off, guys. I guess I, I lost the opportunity and I'm only... Oh, great. Okay, well, we'll try again. For now, we have little Mr. Loki, who is very vocal. No, no. You are going to learn that in this house, you're not going to do that. No, no. Uh, it doesn't give me an option, guys, to tell him to not bark. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, Milani. Oh, and I love that it's spring. Did you not pay the bills? Pay bills. Oh, you can't get to it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these sims. Okay, well, there is that. We have a new doggy. We have to buy it some stuff and make it comfortable. So for the next part, we're going to go ahead and pick a place to get engaged. Oh, and it looks like it's going to rain a lot. Well, they've got to get engaged. So next part, guys, look forward to the engagement and a party. All right, for now, I am going to go ahead and be done with this one. Thanks for watching. And don't forget all the fun stuff to do. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.